likes to pace itself before it does some quality work. Boy, this takes me back. If you really want to know which low-priced car is your best buy, try this. Be detached. Take a detached view of all the cars in the low-priced field and check the facts. Which car gives you all these? Fresh classic beauty. Exciting sassy performance. Body by Fisher quality. And the superior engineering that produced the Corvette V8. Which car? The new 57 Chevrolet. Yes, the new Chevy gives you more to be proud of. And your own detached checkup will prove it. But don't forget the thrills, the sheer fun you'll have driving this king of the road everywhere. Why not look it over now at your authorized Chevrolet dealers? The more you look, the more you'll like the 57 Chevrolet. Kidding me? Yeah. Do a short video, did you? Yeah. A lot of chrome. Take a close up look at Chevrolet. Here's real chrome. Real aluminum grill work. Strong and firm. Yeah. He likes polished. This guy, longtime customer, super good guy, and uh, he had us build this car. I think we finished it somewhere around 10 or 11 years ago. I painted this car in my old shop, the last building, and it had a it had an LS1. It was pretty basic with a 200R4 behind it, and here, I don't know, a little over a year ago, he's like, "Hey, man." What, what can we do to put some more power in this thing? More power? You got dang right more power! More power, baby! We ended up buying him a Texas Speed uh, stroked LS3. I think it's like a 416 that's in here now. And we put a 4L80 behind it so that it would all be electronically shifted. It works great. It, uh, it had a little leak at one of the hoses on the AC, so we fixed that today. That's why it's back here, so it's a uh, super nice car. We also upgraded the gauges this time. Put the uh, Dakota Digital HDX like we do on everything. Got Benny Jair. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's getting there. It's hot out today. We'll get rolling. Get some good airspeed coming across there. It'll get even better. Yeah, that was it. We had all oh, we added Hydro Boost this time too. Built a new engine cover. We can take a picture of that here in a minute. He he loves flame, so we matched it to some True Fire that somebody painted for us. This thing sits on a Art Morrison chassis. It's got their triangulated four link, nine inch. It's got some center line dagger wheels on it. He picked those out, they're pretty cool. Updated the interior a little bit too. We just did new door panels. Emilio did those. Did the uh, little bit on the center console. We wrapped the steering wheel in red. Built a new package tray. It just, the stuff in here was a little dated and we recovered the seats, so. I'd say this engine's rated at about, right at or under 600 horse. I think we got four. I don't remember, 460 or 70 to the tires, which is about right through a 4L80. They, they do eat up a little bit of power, just spinning them. The more
horse and stuff's pretty awesome. And I think, I'm pretty sure when we did this, when we upgraded the shocks to some double adjustable, Jeff's tuned on them a good bit. He's trying to get it as, these cars have a tendency to like fight each other a little bit because they're longer. So you have to, you gotta tune the shock so that it doesn't, one doesn't push up on the other. And he's got it really good. Drives nice. Power windows. It's got a be cool uh, cooling module. It's one of them $5,000 units. Got the radiator condenser, all the tanks, the horse board. Really nice. Everything all is one package. One, yeah. The, the more that you can do, you know, used to, I was always, always thought, oh, I could save some money here or there. And then you realize after you do it so long, yeah, you can do it and make a bunch of stuff work. But you can save so much labor by buying a part that's already a complete assembly, especially if it's a good one, you know, from a good vendor. Uh, they're still never going to bolt in perfectly, but at least it all matches, you know what I mean? Like the, the colors, the themes, the polish finish on it, it just looks good that way. It's got the big old Willwood brakes too, like we do on everything. The 13s or 14s. I want to say this is the first Morrison chassis that we had done. No, take that back. We did that Mustang first, the chassis car. A lot more involved. These all bolt on. They came with a bolt on chassis, and so it wasn't too bad. This stuff's awesome, man. It fits so it's just a, like a replica chassis or what? Well, it's, it's a really strong, like, and it's mostly all made out of rectangular tubing, whereas the stock chassis. Even the, the California chassis, that's what everybody back in the day wanted because they were boxed. They weren't just C-channel yeah. at Flex. So they'd, they'd actually boxed them. They just, uh, man, this traffic's freaking ridiculous around here. But even those, the good ca California chassis weren't really very good at all they still didn't ride great and twisted so this is all tons of bracing in it and they've got holes that run through the chassis for the exhaust so that when you look under the car everything's tucked up in there that's kind of the deal they I don't know if they were the first ones but they were kind of the originators of that I think This one's got you know hush mat and carpet and everything under the sun, subs, two batteries, you name it. So it's probably chunky. I'd say it's probably uh, 30, 3,500 plus us. So what is all of what is that? Yeah. And if you add us in there, 4,600. But, uh, <laughs> but it's call it 4,500. I lost 40, about 100. <laughs> good, good. Um, no, it's. If you get one of these stripped down with like no interior and just nothing but small block deal, you can get them down under three thousand. They're wow. just they look bigger than that, but there's not a lot of weight to them. But. Yeah, check under the hood. I'll show you the the new install. Got some billet hood hinges. But yeah, so we had. Actually, we had Fernando make that engine cover, and then I had my buddy Marcus paint it. Hydrotech system, 